guys, my name is Kat and in this video I want to motivate you to get your week started off right. By setting up your week, you'll be able to be more productive and have more time to do the things that you love. Today I ran to a park that's by my house. It's taken me a while to increase my distance. I really love running because it helps with my anxiety. And I'm going to end my run here because I'm tired. Three miles is pretty good. Alright, so let's get the party started with cleaning my freezer. Honestly, it's probably been a while since I cleaned this freezer. I cannot remember the last time I cleaned it. Um, I do have another freezer and I use that one more, so that's probably why. I'm just gonna wash every single thing that I took out and then I'm just gonna place it back. All right, it's nice and clean. Now I have to figure out what is still good and what I have to throw out.
Actually have them here in the states now but it tastes so much better from spain and this is how the fridge or the freezer looks guys so i have popsicles and yogurt and candy bars here and then frozen stuff for smoothies i'm gonna put breakfast stuff even though that's there and then all um, like frozen meals, frozen stuff that like, you can make really easy. And then this was left over from 4th of July. It has to be in this container for obvious reasons. So the kids have, it's harder for kids to open them. And then I have bread, meat, extra goodies, and ice cream. I have another freezer in my garage that way. That's why. I so I wasn't planning on organizing my garage refrigerator until my husband told me that there was a shortage of aluminum cans. So I ended up going to the store and buying all these. and organized ready to go all right so this is my costco haul we love iced tea during the summer and then gatorade lasagna we love to have this on hand in our freezer and then salmon oh and i love these shrimp that are ready like they're ready to go i love to have these as a snack we're trying to lose weight right now and eat healthier so um this is tilapia i love their tilapia and this is one of my son's favorites, tilapia, and it has like the crust on it, and it's really super good. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, because it was on sale, and it's like, comes with two bags. Those are for my son. Gummy Bears, Black Forest. These pickles are so good. They're our favorite. They're kind of pricey, but they're so worth it. If you like pickles, you need to try those. And then green beans. I can split this up for two meals for us. And then pasta sauce, a variety of beef jerky. I already ate some of that in the car. <laughs> and then these I bought for a snack for my husband and I just to munch on because we're trying to be healthier. Instead of eating potato chips, we're going to be eating this. And then these masks, because I can't, I don't know what happens to them. Casey loses them, so I bought three of them. And then I'm going to take these over to my in-laws. And then lotion without fragrance because we don't like to use fragrance in our lotion because it irritates our skin. And then downy. And that's it. This is my haul. In total, I think it was like 200 and almost $250. So it's time to meal prep a couple things to have handy in the fridge. Usually I like to marinate my own chicken, but with remote learning going on and been kind of short on time, I actually bought this already marinated from Walmart and it was really good. And I just hate the taste of frozen cooked chicken. It just tastes so bad to me. So that's why I like to have cooked chicken in the fridge. So if my husband needs a quick lunch or during the week, if I want to have a salad or something, 
It's ready to go. Can you take a second to admire these grill lines though? Seriously, it's taking me a while to learn how to grill. So now I'm just gonna make some salsa really quick. I used four I used four tomatoes, two big jalapenos, and three tomatillos, but I oiled them a little bit too much, but it's okay because they're still gonna be they're gonna be perfect. I took the ends off of them too. For the tails. Okay, I'm gonna add about a fourth of an onion. This is like one clove of garlic, a tablespoon of salt, and a tablespoon of chicken bouillon. I hope this motivated you to do something around the house. Get off the couch and do some of your chores. I hope you guys have a good week and I'll see you in the next video.